Amen. 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 Hi, kids. It's Pastor Dan, and it's time for Kids Church. I'm so glad you're here today. We've been talking about the Lord's Prayer so that we can understand what it means when we say the Lord's Prayer together in church. We always say these same words together, and people might be wondering what they mean. So we've been praying it a bit at a time and talking about each part of it. We started by saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Today we add another line. It says, And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Now what does that mean? Temptation is the feeling that we have when we want to do something that we know we shouldn't do. But we want to do it anyway. Or there's something we know we should do, and we really want not to do it. That feeling of being pulled away from doing what we're supposed to be doing is called temptation, or being tempted. I'm tempted by candy. You know me. This is, this is some candy, and you know how much I love candy, and how much I love sweets of every kind, cookies and cakes, ice cream. It doesn't matter. I love it all. But I know I shouldn't eat too much of those things because that's not healthy for me to do. But when I feel like I want to eat those things anyway, even when I know I've had too much already, that's when I feel tempted. So this prayer asks God to keep us from being tempted to do things we shouldn't do, to not want to do what we shouldn't do. So it says it in two ways. Lead us not into temptation. That's don't let us feel tempted. And then it says, but deliver us from evil. Take us away from things that are bad. Things that are bad for us. Things that are bad for us to do. Things that are bad for us to want to do. That's the way we will be happy. We'll do the things we should do. And we can feel good about that. That's why this prayer then ends on this wonderful, happy note. There is a big celebration at the end. It says, For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. What that says is, in a lot of words, it says, God, you are so wonderful. You are in charge of everything. You have the power to do all the things that need to happen. And yours is the praise that we give forever. We always praise you. We always love you. You are the best. The best of everything in all creation. It ends on this big happy note, doesn't it? It's like a hymn. It's like a song. And so we pray the whole prayer together. Now you know it. And now you know what it means. So let's say the whole prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Amen means let that be my prayer too. That is my prayer too. It's an old Hebrew word. and It means, yes, let that be my prayer. So when you add it all together, it says, God, you are the most important thing anywhere. But you are also not only the maker of everything, but you are so close to us. You love us so much. You are like somebody in our family, like a parent. We want your will to be done. We want to do what you want us to do, just as it is in heaven. Let everything on earth be just as you want it. Give us all the things that we really need and forgive us when we do things that are wrong, as we've promised to forgive other people when they do things that are wrong. 
and keep us away from wanting to do the things we shouldn't do and keep us, keep us safe from all the things that are bad. Because you, Lord, are the best. You are in charge of everything. You are in charge of our hearts. You are in charge of the whole world. And we love you and sing your praises forever. And that's our prayer, too. I'm so glad you've been here for this time because when you add all those pieces together, you'll know when we say that together in church what it all means. And you can remember those words, too. You can know all those words and you can pray them together with everybody else. That's a great feeling. I think that's why Jesus gave us this prayer. And so not because it's the only thing we can pray. We can pray in any words and God still hears us and loves to hear from us. We can say all the things that we're thinking to God, and just like we're talking in a room with God. But these words, when we say them all together as a church, give us something that we all can know and we can all say together. And that makes it fun. It makes it fun to pray together. It's fun to know things in church so that when you're in church, you're not surprised by what happens and you're not confused by what happens and you can say things along with everybody else. That makes us all feel like part of the same family. That's why God wants us to feel like all part of the same family. So let's pray it one more time together. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. I'm so glad you've been here for this time, and I'll look forward to seeing you soon. Till next time, God bless you all. Bye-bye for now.